There was, in the years after World War II, uh, it was a time when we built the domes, the museum, the zoo, uh, but if there's one iconic building from that period, it's County Stadium. There was a feeling that you were not a big league town unless you had a big league team, and it stuck in our craw. The arrival of the Braves in 53, hysteria, is not an exaggeration. There was just a feeling that we had arrived and finally we're kind of in the ranks uh, of the bigs. Then our hearts were broken then when they left. The Brewers uh, were not yet here, the Braves were gone. Pretty nice to have the Bucks come. You know, that was nice to be back in the bigs. I think when the NBA made it known that they were searching for expansion teams, Wes Pavlon and Mark Fishman jumped right on it. You know, Mark Fishman was a very successful real estate man. And then Wes Pavlon was like no human being I've ever known. They were very respectful and they got to know us. We were all one. Players, management, ownership, we were all one. We were the Milwaukee Bucks. If there's one word you'd use for 68, it would be volatile. On the kind of the social activism front, uh, you have the open housing marshes continuing into March. He was bringing to consciousness things that people would rather have kept unconscious. It was what it amounted to. And we'd read about all that, but had never been to Milwaukee, only to Madison. So we really were a little concerned as to what we were going into. After uh, training camp, I went to Boston to get the family. And uh, this is after I'd gotten a uh, condo in Oak Creek. And I remember driving in, it was an election year. And I go over there, there's four or five Wallace for President signs, George Wallace for President signs in the complex. And my wife says, where on earth are you bringing? But one of our neighbors embraced us and made us feel welcome. And Milwaukee was a good experience for us. Basketball is a niche sport. I'm not sure what the what the, the mentality would be, but it's not quite as a, as universal as as baseball or perhaps football. Even though it took a while for our fans to learn who we were, the players. That first year, I think we averaged 6,200 people at, at the old arena, but they were embracing. Fans love their sports in Wisconsin, and just the, the uh, fan response was just terrific. It, it, you know, when we played our first game there, I just remember, I can't remember if the arena was completely sold out, but it was a good crowd. And then the second year, everything changed so much from the first. Even though they got their feet wet as an organization, you get Korean. Well, that changes everything. We went from 27 wins as an expansion team, which was great, to 52 wins with Kareem with the same team. Everything changed then because the spotlight was suddenly on our franchise. 